horses are a cross-cultural experience and when you're at the barn you're you're kind of in their country and you need to learn to speak their language to get along in their culture uh, they're very nonverbal creatures they have very few vocalizations they make and they, they use a lot of nonverbals and body posture and and there's a lot of expressions to learn to read and and as we get farther from an agrarian society Coming to the barn, interacting with the horses and with the other animals is really a new experience for a lot of our students. All of our, our students are on a level system. They all start as level one, and those students will come to the barn for a one hour, uh, we call it ranching class. It's primarily horsemanship, but uh, because of the beef cattle and the sheep and the laying hens and the ducks, we do a lot of different things that aren't necessarily hands-on with horses every day. And so. Um, they'll come for a one hour ranching class and just work on ground skills. There's no riding in that one hour. And so they learn to kind of just observe the horses as they interact in a group, in a herd, and learn how to read that language of leadership that the horses communicate. They're very leadership oriented. And then we'll start to teach the students how they themselves can act out and speak that language of leadership. How to walk up to or approach a horse, put a halter on it, lead it into the barn, groom it, what the different grooming tools do, uh, identify the different horses by colors and markings, how to put the saddle on the horse and bridle the horse and take all that stuff off. And all of that is to work them towards uh, level two and also for them to, for us to develop a relationship with them, for them to learn that uh, hopefully we're trustworthy and for us to learn that uh, they're trustworthy. And uh, when they move from a level one to a level two, they can move from a one hour class to a two hour class. And then they can enjoy riding skills if they choose. And um, they can take all of the preparatory skills that they learned as a level one and put them into practice. And the faster they get their horse ready to be ridden, the more time they have to ride. And depending on their size and strength and physical ability, you know, we're right there to help them as they need it. Um, and and then riding the horses, being on their backs, and uh, putting leadership into practice is a different experience from the ground, but there's a lot of similarities as well. Uh, many of our students are very eager for those level two privileges. They're very eager to ride a horse. Some are either cautious or concerned because of just uncertainty of the unknown, or maybe they've had a negative experience. If they've had a negative experience, a lot of times they were kind of just put up on the horse without much instruction and so uh, we'll ask them you know if they would if they would trust us to kind of teach them and give it a chance for a quarter and if they like it great and if they don't there's no they don't have to keep taking class um, there's also a few students who their favorite days were the days that were too wet to ride and so we would work on different projects and um, and so they said, we don't really love riding, but can we just come work on projects? And so we've got a class of those students that come every week and they help with fence maintenance and installation and all sorts of different projects. And um, we call them our ranch hands. So multiple different ways that we have class here and uh, some of the differences between our level one and level two students.